Hi guys, Chris Huntingvold here, otherwise known as the Tattooed CRM Guy. Um, had a request on LinkedIn recently to do a bit of a, a discussion slash recording slash post around how Hootsuite would integrate with Microsoft Dynamics 365. As a lot of you know, I'm a huge fan of social, so I love how it works with Microsoft Dynamics. I love the fact that you can do things like lead generation and interacting with customers through social media. Um, I think it's really important and it's really relevant. So today, obviously again, focusing on Hootsuite, um, what I did was I just generated a real quick free account. So I got a couple of accounts created here, integrated with the Hitachi CRM one, the tattooed CRM guy, which is me, and then obviously those Dynamics guys. Right, and you can see I've got different feeds of information coming in and you can filter those based on the account types. Now to integrate these with Dynamics, obviously you will need to have a test instance of, our, of Dynamics or something that's going on um, a potentially a trial that you've got running. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to caveat this. This demo is live. So whatever comes up, I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's anything dodgy, it's not my fault, right? And I'm not going to edit it out. So yeah, watch at your own risk. Right. So first things first is I've got my Hootsuite account going. Second thing I did was um, I went onto the Hootsuite application list. And you can see there's a bunch of different apps here. Um, what I did was I just installed the Dynamics one. Now, what that does is it adds in a little menu item or plugin to the UI. That's all it does. It doesn't install anything inside Dynamics. There's no solution files. All it does is it just adds in that, that, that link. So now one thing that's really important to remember is that when doing this type of integration, you need to only expect the basic type stuff. So as an example of Microsoft Social Engagement, that integration to Microsoft Dynamics is very strong because it's focused around the service area. And, um, you know, it, it's really about interacting with customers across different social channels. If you look at what Click Dimensions have done with Octopost is they've promoted posts directly from within Dynamics through to the different channels and then the ability to monitor. In this scenario, what's happened here is they've only given people that have Hootsuite access to the Dynamics 365 interface. So if I click on um, Joel's record, he's one of my one of my buddies from the States. You can see that I've got um, Sent to Dynamics Online. If I click that link, it'll open up a little UI that'll show the Dynamics 365 customer engagement lead form. And that'll give me the opportunity to capture in some lead information or confirm the lead information from his Twitter profile. So we'll just hit New. Very straightforward, there's Joel's information. We'll just put in potential customer. Uh, I've got the general type of information. And yes, the business required fields, fields do take effect here. We'll just save that up. And yeah, it's pretty much in there, right? You can see you've got some other uh, functionality available to you. So if you've got any activity records, you can actually add in different tasks and things directly from this UI. So I can say, call Joel, give it a priority. And it'll then associate it to his record. You can add in some notes as well, so. Review Joel's information. I'm not being very creative today. There we are. Give it a save. So yeah, let's save it against his profile over there. We can open in Microsoft Dynamics. So this is one of my test instances. And there's his lead information over there. So it's picked up uh, Joel, obviously the other core in, core details. Uh, interestingly enough, it's got a business process associated to it. So this is one that I've generated in the background. Uh, something you might want to do is, you know, using workflow, generate a business process based on the fact that it's a Hootsuite lead or a social lead. Uh, activities. There's his task over there. Fantastic. So call Joel. Let's hit notes. Yeah, cool. So it's brought it all back from, from Hootsuite, right? This isn't a push-pull system. So all it's going to do is promote a user interface within Hootsuite for users to access lead type information. And you can do things like qualify the lead. You can select um, if there's a, if there's a, a, an existing contact you want to link it to, create a new contact. And it's pretty pretty basic, eh? straightforward. But what it'll do is it'll promote the use of Microsoft Dynamics through the Hootsuite interface. So I guess the place for this in, in any business is that if you're utilizing Hootsuite and you're utilizing Dynamics and you have you need to have the ability to generate leads and progress through those through to opportunities, you can do it through Hootsuite. 
it's not going to give you all the amazing um, tracking and uh, all of that that sometimes other social um, media tools will give you. But what it will give you is a very, very quick interface into Microsoft Dynamics. If you want proper customer engagement, you need to start looking at Microsoft customer engagements, right? If you're looking, and that's more on the customer services side, if you're looking at doing the marketing components and really pushing tweets and uh, social posts through Dynamics, as well as monitoring them, and um, gaining, gaining insight into the engagement, that will be um, the click dimensions with Octopost for now. But um, that's the integration with Hootsuite. I hope it makes a bit of sense. Um, obviously, I'll be doing a bit more exploring and to see if I can break it or not. But yeah, it is what it is. So if you have any questions, give me a shout and hopefully I'll be able to help you out. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.